Malik, thank you. The Alabama Department of Public Health says that they are not required to tell the public if a restaurant worker tests positive for COVID-19. State Capitol reporter Rashad Hudson is covering this for us. The thought of someone working in food services testing positive for the coronavirus and you at home not knowing about it can be a little unsettling. So today I spoke with the state health officer about their policy as it relates to that issue. Restaurants may be changing their practices, but one policy at the State Department of Public Health is becoming concerning for many. So with COVID-19, um, for in most cases, uh, we would not necessarily make it public that this was part of a business. Recently, two restaurants in the Birmingham area had employees test positive for coronavirus, the Chick-fil-A in Alabaster and Sonic in Leeds. They're not required to, to inform us, but we know about it because we received the test results on anyone who tests positive. State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris says the most common example of public notification is hepatitis A. When we have a case of hepatitis A that occurs in someone who's serving food, for example, um, who's working in a kitchen, then many times we do reach out to the public and, and make that uh, information available. Martha Morgan says the bigger issue is many workers are afraid to tell their employers that they're sick at the risk of losing their job. And the problem is people, you know, low income people may feel forced into continuing to go to work because they have nothing. The state health officer says as of right now, there's no plans to change their policy, but as the coronavirus continues to spread, this is something they will consider. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.